Well, hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Shelly, and I am a full-time mom and a full-time flight attendant for a major US airline. If you guys um, are just new to this channel, just so you know, I do resumes so I can help you put in those special words to help you boost your resume to the very top, especially if you are looking to becoming a flight attendant. I'm here for you to help you also with coaching and I will help you as far as what to wear, how to interview, what are the questions that may be asked, not the exact questions, but what can be asked and how to go about answering them and how to make it so that you can get your dream job. Now, if you guys are interested and want a session with me and book me, you can go to flyingwithshelly.com, book your session there. If not, then you can just kind of email me if you have any questions at flywithshelly at gmail.com. All right, guys, moving forward today, we are gonna be talking about a new partnership with Southwest Airline and what does it mean for their clients, for their A-listers, what does it mean for employees that work for Southwest and what does it mean for people that are traveling on Southwest. So we're going to cover a lot of the topics that were very hot lately just because they have a new partnership that they've kind of connected with and I wanted to kind of talk about that today. So let's dive right into it. So for the longest time you guys, Southwest Airline have been talking about partnering up with another company. We weren't sure, there was rumors here and there, but nothing was definite until the end of September. The rumors came true when um, Iceland Air, you guys, have actually decided to sign an MOU. So you may ask me, what is an MOU? An MOU is a memorandum of understanding. So there's just an understanding between two airlines where they don't actually partner you know, so there's no such thing as a partnership, but it is just an understanding that they will be cooperating together. So they're going to begin uh, bilateral partnerships in 2025. And what does that mean for us? Southwest Airlines and Iceland Air will be their first partner, which is so, so, so exciting. Um, also, as an employee, it is exciting for us because our network is actually going to expand, which is so, so exciting. So, so what does it mean? It means that the partnership will allow customers to easily connect between the two airlines network. Um, Iceland uh, will become a Southwest initial airline partner, which we talk about. They are going to be the first partners that we ever have, which is so exciting. Now, as you all know, uh, Iceland Air flies internationally. They are huge compared to us where we kind of, we do cover international, but we don't do the big international like Europe and so forth, you know, so on and so forth. And so it is so exciting that our network is going to expand with them. So the initial North American get gateway uh, between Southwest Airlines and all Iceland Air will be Baltimore BWI with other destinations to follow, which is so exciting. Uh, from these gateways, Iceland Air customers will have the opportunity to connect to numerous Southwest destinations. Southwest customer will benefit from connections to Iceland Air's ex extensive network, which covers five airports in Iceland, you guys, four in Greenland, and 34 destination in Europe. How exciting is that? Our European network, now this is their European network for Iceland Air. Their European network reaches superstar capitals like Paris, London, Amsterdam, Nordic hotspots such as Copenhagen, Stockholm, and Oslo. And year-round favorites including Rome, of course, Lisbon, Barcelona, and Prague. That is so exciting, you guys. Uh, we look forward to welcoming Southwest passengers is what they're saying on board our flights and bringing the spirit of Iceland to their journeys. So that is so, so exciting, you guys. Like This is going to be the first partnership for Southwest Airline. And they are going to be able to expand because of that you know, uh, connection that we are making and that MOU that we have signed. 
Now let's talk about Southwest Airlines and all the changes that are about to take place. As far as our planes are concerned, there's going to be a little bit of remodeling taking place. Um, there's going to be some upgrade and there's going to be some changes. A lot of people are talking about assigned seats. Now that has been determined that it will take place right after the holidays. So beginning of 2025, we will start having assigned seats. I know, I know a lot of people are feeling both ways. Some people are really for it. Other people are not. Um, they came to the conclusion that this is something that we kind of want to start kind of moving forward with. And um, everybody is saying that it is going to benefit us in the long run. And we are going to try that out. So there's rumors, like I said, that it's going to start at the beginning of 2025. We will see how that goes. But there's already some changes being made in some of our planes. So it is exciting to see uh, the growth uh, for Southwest Airlines. So let's start by talking about what is changing and what is not. So as far as bags flying for free, that is there to stay. So if you guys are going to be traveling on Southwest Airline, bags fly free still stands. So that's a good thing. So you can still check up to two bags for free at the airport with Southwest. And like I said, that will not change. Now, when it comes to the lowest fare, when you do go on the website and you have choices, when you do book, there's business and whatnot, and then there's lowest fare. When you do click the lowest fare section, it will still come with two free bags. So that is not gonna change at all. Um, there's still gonna be no change or cancellation fee. So they are keeping that policy, which is really, really important. The, are also keeping the travel credits that will never expire, which is something that I was begging for them not to change and they aren't changing that. So that's good news. So if you guys have a ticket that you didn't use or you can make your flight, you get to keep that credit and it is indefinite. You will not lose that credit. It's not like some airlines after one year, too bad you didn't use it, you know, too bad, so sad. In our case, um, Southwest Airline honors your credit and will keep it in your account for as long as you need it until you can use it, which is amazing. Now, when it comes to seat assignment, when you are going to book on the website, uh, the seat will be assigned to you prior to your day of travel. Okay, so just remember the day before you travel, it'll be assigned to you. If you haven't found a seat that you like, they will find it for you. Okay, um, now if you prefer to select your seat, uh, from what I understand, when you book your flight, including seats with extra room is one of the options we will have. Um, you will have a few options to purchase these benefits. So you will have the options to go online and just kind of book whichever seats you want, one with extra leg room, one without. Um, now those obviously will require a little upgrade finance. So financially, that's where we are changing things just because you're going to have to opt your ticket purchase not your ticket but your you know it's going to be a little more expensive because you're getting more leg room and that is said to um start in the second half of 2025 uh in the first half of 2026 so that's when you should see some of these changes so as far as Rapid Rewards member, they will continue to enjoy the industry leading loyalty rewards. So that is not going to change. Um, all members will earn and redeem points at the same rate they do today. So it's not going to change the way that, you know, you buy a ticket, you get rewarded. Um, all that is not going to change. So that system stays the same. We will continue to offer no blackout dates, which is wonderful. Uncapped reward seat availability and points that don't expire which is great so there isn't any more you know changes when it comes to the rapid rewards now the tier benefits uh will evolve with assigned seating so that is more to come um i'll put some description here and i'll put the link down below if you guys want to read about it i don't want to kind of go through it uh just yet but you guys can get a lot more info on that and again i'll leave everything down below for you to read now, when it comes to A-list preferred, now for you guys watching saying, hey, is that going to change anything now that I'm A-list preferred? Now, for you guys, you'll be able to select all available seats at the time of booking, including extra leg room at no additional cost, which means when you're about to book, if it is additional to get more leg room, you get to get it for free. So this is how we're honoring our A-listers also said that new A-list members will be able to select all standard legroom seats at the time of booking with the opportunity to choose an extra 
legroom seat within 48 hours of departure. Usually it's 24 hours when you do kind of want to confirm your ticket, right? And you want to get in the same seat. Um, this time it's 48 hours uh, before departure, if available at no additional cost. And so all the tier members will continue to enjoy priority boarding, uh, free same day change, um, and a same day standby for all tier members, you guys. And as far as the uh, credit card rapid rewards uh, members, um, you guys will receive details in 2025 on how their card benefits will, will be enhanced with our new changes. Until then, card members will continue to take advantage of the benefits they currently have on their card. I also hear that Southwest is introducing a gateway is what it's called. So gateways by Southwest. So in uh, 2025, um, with the unmatched flexible policies you know and love, if your plans change and if you have to cancel your vacation, it's okay on his on this vacay is what they say so um so they're gonna have like vacation packages which we didn't have prior we did kind of add hotels and stuff at the at the bottom but now they're gonna have a huge vacation package i believe that you can pick from um at the time of booking now going back to the mov which is the memorandum that we signed um, of understanding with iceland air um the part that is really fun here is where it says that customers will be allowed to book Southwest flights through Iceland Air, you guys. Yes, you will be allowed to book a Southwest flight through Iceland Air. Isn't that freaking phenomenal? I'm so excited. Uh, we expect to add at least one additional partner in the next year. Oh my God, I'm so like I'm getting goosebumps. And this is just the beginning, you guys. We are expanding incredibly, especially in an economy that's a little kind of tough lately. Um, I pray for all the airlines that are going through a hard time right now. Um, you know, economy is pretty crappy right now, and some of them are struggling. Um, so it is so unfortunate for them and I hope they do, you know, pull out because they were my old airlines too. So I do pray for them that everything works out at the end. Um, but as far as we are concerned, we are expanding and we're doing very well. So I'm very excited for that. Um, so it says here, as you can see, we're focused and excited about the future. Uh, we can't wait for you to experience these new enhancements as they roll out. In the meantime, we promise to continue connecting you to the people and places you love most. Um, I am so excited that Southwest Airlines is expanding and doing so well. Um, there's so many changes. I mean, we got our new contract too. It is not what it used to be. Everybody says when our president or our, you know, CEO was alive, everything was different, but it's moving in the right direction, you guys, with the loss of our CEO and now with our expansions, things are moving along and I am just so, so freaking excited. Um, also, if you guys are still watching me right now, and I know we're at the end of the video, so thank you for sticking around. Um, we have been hiring, you guys. Um, we've hired internally right now. They are starting their training pretty soon if they haven't started already. Uh, once that's done, we're going to start um, hiring externally, which means you guys are going to have the opportunity to join our amazing company. And so make sure that you guys stay tuned and watch my videos. Make sure you click on the notification bell right over there or right over there uh, and make sure that you subscribe because I want you guys to keep up with what's happening and I always announce when there's an amazing airline hiring so that you guys can jump on the wagon, call me or email me, let me help you with your coaching needs and also let me help you with your resume so you can make it to the very top and get your dream job. So, all right, guys, it was so nice having you here. It's, I know it's kind of a short video, but I kind of wanted to underline everything that's happening with Southwest Airline, and I'm so excited for them. So I, I hope they continue to grow, and I hope you guys join our amazing, amazing airline. Uh, and again, I am here to help. So all of the links that I've mentioned, they're all down below. So you guys stay tuned, and, um, and I hope to see you soon. I love you guys. Bye.